Hello, Georgia! Hello! Hello! I don't know if y'all know this, but we're living in a battleground state! And we are in the heart of the battleground in Gwinnett County! Now, I see some friends out there, and we know that a few years ago, when we said that Georgia was on the move, it was hard to get people to believe us. We knew what we could see. We knew that diversity wasn't destiny, it was opportunity. And so we started investing, and we started running, and we started winning. And now we're on the cusp of delivering 16 electoral college votes for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. We knew that we could go to communities that had been left out and left behind. We knew that diversity was our strength, not a weakness. We understood that in Gwinnett County in 2016, if we talked to Latin Americans, if we talked to Asian Americans, if we talked to black Americans, if we united with white Americans, we could deliver the city and the county and we could turn Gwinnett blue. And what did we do in 16? We delivered Gwinnett County. But see then, y'all, then Gwinnett decided to show off. And in 2018, you not only sent more blue votes, you sent folks to the state house, and now we're 16 votes away from victory in the state house. Because what we can do this year is something people didn't believe we could do 10 years ago. 10 years ago when we lost every statewide office, they told us we were done. When we didn't win, elections in 2012 and 2016 when we didn't take the White House, they said, it's just a mirage. We know it's not a mirage, we know it's not a miracle, we know it's meaningful and it's our mission and we're gonna get it done this time. We're gonna get it done because we live in the state of Georgia where 373,000 Georgians have contracted COVID, where 7,790 Georgians have perished where 1.4 million Georgians do not have health insurance and where under Republican leadership, two hospitals closed down in the middle of a pandemic. But we know that while Trump lies, Joe Biden will deliver. We live in a state where evictions are going up and jobs are disappearing, but we know that we've got the ingenuity, the fortitude and the ability to win because while Trump hides, Georgia knows that Biden will deliver. And when racial justice is on the line, when racial reckoning is what we know, we know that while Trump divides, Biden and Harris will deliver. They've got a plan to build back better, a plan to make certain that every Georgian has the job they need, the health care they deserve, and the future they want. Because we know that with Biden Harris, we will build back better. We will restore the soul of this nation. But in the Peach State, you know, in the Peach State being in the South, we know we don't just give you what you ask for, we give you a little extra. So not only are we going to give 16 electoral college votes to Joe and Kamala, we're going to send them two U.S. senators to get the job done. My friends John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock are going to take this country forward. And it's going to be Georgia that delivers those two, those two men to the Senate. Warriors for peace. Warriors for justice. Warriors for progress. And while my good friends Hank Johnson and Sanford Bishop, while they are doing the work they need to do, while David Scott is doing the work he needs to do, last time we sent them Lucy McBath because we knew they needed a woman's touch from the Georgia delegation. And this time we're going to send Lucy back with a new friend, Carolyn Bordeaux. But we also know that justice and progress go all the way down the ballot. And that's why, Gwinnett, you are going to vote like your life depends on it. You're going to vote from every seat. You're going to vote for the county commission chair because we need a county commission chair that wants progress in Gwinnett County. 
you're going to vote for state legislative representatives who will flip the state house so we can control redistricting in the house and make sure that voters pick their politicians. Politicians won't be picking their voters in 2021. But, but as you guys know, we've been excited before. We've been ready before. But we know that just because good is on the move doesn't mean bad has stopped working. Voter suppression is alive and well in Georgia, but we put it on its knees. We got the work done to make sure that the exact match is no longer the law of the land in the state of Georgia. We've done the work to make certain that if you make a mistake on your absentee ballot, they've got to let you know and let you fix it. But we also know that long lines may show enthusiasm, but they also show incompetence and the lack of investment from the Secretary of State. But we're not going to let them distract us. So I've got two rules for you guys as we go into the final days. Number one, don't panic. Say it with me. Say, don't panic. Because we got this, guys. We know what we're facing this time. We know what it looks like to have the right to vote in the state of Georgia. We know what it looks like to have leaders who want to hear our voices and let us make our own choices. So we're not going to panic when we hear the lies. We're not going to panic when we see militias. We're not going to panic when people tell us that we're not going to win. We are going to work to make sure that victory is ours. Don't panic. But the second thing we do is we're not going to get out of line. <laughs> because when we go to vote on Tuesday, we're going to fill the lines with people who know their voices matter. Those folks who live down that street, we try to make sure we speed through when we're driving. Those folks whose voices have been silenced for so long because they didn't think voting mattered. I don't believe in telling people they were wrong. I believe in telling people it's different now. Because there are more of us than there are of them. There are more of us who want justice. There are more of us who want jobs. There are more of us who want recovery from COVID. There are more of us who want Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to lead this country forward. And so we're not going to panic and we're not going to get out of line and say, stay in line. Stay in line. Stay in line. If we don't panic and we don't get out of line, then we will get what we deserve. And that is a co government for the people, by the people, and made so by the state of Georgia. Thank you so much. Now it is my honor to introduce Leslie Palomino. Leslie is a student at Georgia State, a third year student who didn't just come to this lightly. Leslie is a super volunteer. You see, Leslie is part of the American story, the Gwinnett story. She was born here in Georgia to Peruvian parents who were immigrants, who were undocumented. It took them 12 years to navigate our broken immigration system, but they did it for their children. And what did Leslie do with her opportunity? She went to work for my friend, my former colleague, Representative Brenda Lopez. <laughs> Leslie worked to make sure that we had laws that supported Georgians, that supported dreamers, that supported families. And Leslie is going to work to make sure that she becomes an immigration attorney to fix a broken system. But Leslie, like you, isn't just waiting. She's working now, and she is here because she's a super volunteer who's going to help us meet and talk to the next vice president of the United States. And so help me welcome Leslie Palomino to introduce Vice President-to-be Kamala Harris. <laughs> 